All right, here we've got a question related to vector functions and velocity, uh, acceleration, and position. So here we've got a car, and it travels with a velocity vector given by v of t equals t squared times e to the t plus 1. t is measured, uh, measured in seconds, and the vector components are measured in feet. If we know the initial position of the car is r of 0 equals 1 comma 3, we want to find the position of the car, say, one second later. Well, to do this, uh, if we're given velocity, uh, to get back to our position vector, r of t, all we're going to have to do is we're going to integrate our velocity vector with respect to t. Okay, so we can write this um, as the integral. We're just going to integrate each part. So the integral of t squared dt, and then we'll have to integrate e to the t plus 1 dt. Well, let's see. If we integrate the first part, the antiderivative of t squared will be t cubed over 3. We have to add our arbitrary constant here, c. And then when we integrate the second part, well, we'll just get e to the t plus t. Again, we have to introduce a new constant. Let's call it d, since we've already used c. All right, so, uh, but we were given an initial condition. Uh, we were given that r of 0 equals 1, the vector uh, with components 1 and 3. So now what we can do is simply plug that in, okay? So, so it says if t equals 0, well, the first component we would get 0 cubed over 3 plus c. That would have to equal the first component of 1. And likewise, if we plug in t equals 0, well, we would get e to the 0 plus 0 plus d, that would have to equal the second component, which is going to be 3. Well, 0 cubed over 3 is just 0, so we'll get c equals 1. Um, e to the 0, well, that's 1 plus d equals 3. If we subtract, we'll get d equals 2. All right, so really we know that we can describe um, our, our position vector, r of t, as t cubed over 3 plus c, which again is just going to be 1. And then the second component will be e to the t plus t plus d, again, which we said had a value of 2. All right, so we wanted to figure out, uh, we wanted to find the position of the car after one second. So really what we want to find is we just want to find r of 1. Well, all we have to do is plug that in. We'll get 1 cubed over 3 plus 1, comma, e to the first plus 1 plus 2. Um, well, 1 third plus 1 is going to be 4 thirds. And then we would have e plus 1 plus 2, which would give us uh, a positive 3. And now we've got the position of the car um, one second later.